Lesson number one for Greg shorthand. So let's start from letter A. A is represented by a big circle. Letter E is represented by a tiny circle. Letter B is represented by a downward long curve. Letter P is represented by a short downward curve. Then, letter D is represented by the upward straight line. Letter T is represented by the short upward straight line. So, let's proceed to an example. Let's say from the word it. Okay. So, it is represented by the sounds of E and T. So, you write first a tiny circle followed by the upward short straight line for letter T. Okay, next, 8 is represented by the sounds of A and T. So, you write first the letter A and followed by the upward short straight line. A. Big circle and then letter T. So please look at the difference between the it and then the eight. So it is a tiny circle, eight is a big circle. Okay, next. From the word bay. Okay, bay is represented by letter B and letter A. So letter Y is silent. So that's why you need to omit for letter Y. So you write the long curve from up to down followed by a big circle. Next is B. So, you write first the letter B and E. So, again, B is represented by the long curve, downward stroke, then followed by a tiny circle. Okay, look at the difference. A, big circle for letter A. B, a tiny circle for letter E. Okay, next, another example. From the word Ted. Okay, Ted is represented by T, E, and D. So you write first the letter T, tiny circle for letter E, and letter D. So you look at the difference between the letter T and then the letter D. Hope you understand my simple discussion for first lesson. So, sana nagustuhan nyo po and makapag-subscribe naman kayo sa akin for my next lesson. Kung may katanungan po, please comment na lang po sa baba. Salamat and have a nice day.